Welcome back. This is the video series on Introduction to Highway Transportation Engineering and I am still Mohan Venigala, still as in sitting still. In this second module we are going to study the variables associated with the vehicle, the driver and the roadway surface that affect highway design. If you want to design a highway, first you must understand basic elements of highway including its alignment and cross section. The designer must have an understanding of the basic design controls, a few of which we will discuss in this module, and the criteria associated with the highway. That is, what's the functional classification which, which was discussed in module 1 and where it is located? Is it in an urban area or a rural area? In this module, we'll first see what the primary design controls for highway are, then study two of those controlling factors in depth the first is about vehicle capabilities such as acceleration, deceleration, braking, cornering. And the second one is about human capabilities such as perception, reaction times, eyesight, etc. That brings us to part 2A on controls for highway design. In this part, we will talk about the rationale for identifying the design vehicle, look into variables that affect the vehicle's attractive effort on the road, and solve some problems on the topic. Then we study the theory behind safely stopping a vehicle, which leads to commonly known term reaction time, and how it plays into stopping site distance, will solve problems on reaction distance and stopping distance. In addition to stopping side distance, we will also learn about two other side distances, passing side distance and decision side distance. We will look into the role played by Ashto Green Book with respect to stopping, passing and decision side distances. Finally, we will discuss the effects of some current topics on control variables for highway design. What are some of those important design controls? First, the design speed of the facility the acceptable degree of congestion on the facilities, that is, the design year, peak hour levels of service, the physical characteristics of the design vehicles, that is, the largest vehicle that is likely to use the facility with considerable frequency could be considered as a design vehicle, the performance of the design vehicle, which is particularly important in terms of accommodating heavy trucks in mountainous terrain, or buses and recreational vehicles in areas subject to high levels of tourist activities such as national forests. The capabilities of the uh, typical driver along the facilities, for example, local residents who are familiar with roads using low-speed neighborhood streets versus state travelers or rural on, on rural freeways. The existence and design year traffic demands to be placed on the facilities for example, daily and peak hour traffic volume, the mix of passenger cars and trucks on the facility. What you see in red here is what we will cover to some degree in this module and some of them throughout the course. By establishing the design speed on a highway, what we are essentially doing is a balancing act between safety and mobility. How do you determine the design speed? It's covered in this and two other modules. Which vehicle are you going to design the road for? In other words, what's your design vehicle? A. Is it an automobile because a vast majority of the vehicles on the road are cars? Or a bus because it carries more people than a car? Or is it a tractor trailer because it needs special accommodations for maneuver? Or is it a vehicle you rarely see on American roads? Give it a thought. And the winner is, it's the largest vehicle that's likely to use the facility with considerable frequency. Tractor trailer that is. In virtually all instances, the highway design vehicle is an over the road tractor trailer. Study vehicle performance we will. What we study is performance only with respect to the roadway design. That means we are not looking at engine performance, interior features of the vehicles and all that enchilada. Study we must in this module, the needs and capabilities of the driver in terms of capability to react and maneuver. We will end this part with something for you to ponder. We have identified the design vehicle to be tractor trailer, fine. Then who's the design driver? Is the driver 
a 16 year old who is just learning to drive remember this driver will have fantastic reflexes but what about the decision making capabilities aren't reflexes and decision making capabilities a consideration in uh, choosing a design driver what about a 30 something male with good reflexes and a good good head glued on his neck no i am not suggesting all 30 something males have good head glued on their necks i'm just talking about a driving subject or is it a 60 year old woman who's losing her reflexes and vision or is it going to be a 80 year old grandpa who has terrible reflexes and very poor vision because if this grandpa can drive on the road safely everyone else can right is that the logic think about it